Hi guys, I am in my house, I'm in my living room and I'm going to a really nice party tonight where I wanted to wear a very sophisticated glitter eye makeup look and I paired it with a bold lip so um, if you want to see how I created this makeup look then come with me and watch. So I really love using this Hollywood um, Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. This is a product I like to use. Um, so I already just prepped my skin and I actually uh, really like this cream. It's called the Lancome Absolute and I use that to prep. And then I go in with this Hollywood uh, Flawless Filter and it comes with this like really cool doe foot applicator. And what I do is I and I just put it on the high points of my face, so on my cheeks right there. Sometimes I even put it a little bit on my forehead, uh, down the bridge of my nose, and a little bit right here in front of my chin. And then I just go in with a beauty blender, which I have right here. And I have a little hand mirror, and I just sort of like blend it into my skin. And this like, what this does, it just gives me a really nice highlight to my face. And then after that, um, I do foundation, but I actually chose instead of a foundation, I'm using a tint of moisturizer and I'm actually really excited to share this product with you guys because this is Laura Mercier and Laura Mercier um, actually reformulated their old uh, um, a tinted moisturizer and this is a new packaging, new formulation and it is gorgeous. I have a I've used this now for like a, like maybe two months now and I probably use it every day. It's so nice and it's just the right amount because I feel like for, you know, my age now, sometimes if I use too much coverage, it actually ages me and I feel like I look older. So like a tinted moisturizer is just perfect. I just feel like it gets rid of my redness in my face and it's so sheer that, um, I still feel like it's, you know, the skin looks like myself. It's really great for also during the day because it has an SPF in it, but I love it for nighttime because it looks really effortless. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of foundation. You can use your fingers, but you can also use a sponge or a foundation brush, whatever, you know, whatever you like. So for my eyebrows, I'm actually really excited to share this product because that's like been sort of like my routine for the last couple of weeks. Alison, what's the name of this product? The Brow Pomade. It's called the Brow Pomade and it's really a pomade. So what I do is I brush it first down and then upwards and then I use my finger to sort of flatten my brow like that and you can see the texture is completely different. And then what I do on top of that, I go in with, this is another one of my new favorites. It's a MAC product. And it, it, it really is like a pen. Like you can see the tip of the brush is super fine. And you can really go in and create your brow. So I just go in with like, you know, really fine short little strokes wherever you feel like you need more filling in to do. I feel like I need my brows to be a little bit fuller in the front. They're kind of like fair. And then I also like to go out on the outer corner and just like bring it a little bit outwards. And then after I've applied my eyebrow with the pen by MAC, I actually do a third product, which is another one of my new favorites by Hourglass. And I've had this, it's so funny with makeup sometimes, I have things in a drawer and I don't use it for the longest of time and then you know, I discover it and then I'm like, oh, this product is really amazing. So I guess I get overwhelmed because I get so much product all the time. But this is a really, really nice brow gel. It comes with a really awesome brush and it has some color on it. So you can almost like create even more texture now on top of it. So I love just using this at the end for, you know, just more texture and for my brows to stay put. All right, so for my eyes, I'm going to tight line my eyes with this ColourPop, which is awesome. It's a gel liner. And what I'm doing with this is I'm putting it in the upper and lower lash line. So I kind of like just close my eye and put it on the top. It's a weird process. And then really make sure to bring it in the inner corner as well. Sometimes people forget to bring it there. And then I also put it on the lower 
borderline. We just tight lined and then I'm gonna go in with this is another awesome pencil. I bought this on Amazon the other day by uh, NY, is it NYX? NYX. NYX. The brand is called NYX and uh, so affordable. And this color is so gorgeous. I love these kind of like reddish, rusty, you know, undertones because they really bring out the color of my eyes. So I feel like the minute I put this um, pencil on, and what I love about these, they're really creamy and you can really move them around really quickly. You can even use your fingers to sort of like blend it in. But I love how it makes my eye color pop. So I put this sort of like close to the lash line and you don't have to be too fussy or too precise with it because it's okay if it looks a little bit more lived in. So use your finger and sort of like try to go close to the lash line. You can even pull it out a little bit on the outer corner. But I also like to bring this in my lower lash line. So I just put on that uh, liner and it's, I love it. I love how it pops my eye color. And then I chose um, another ColourPop product. I'm really into this ColourPop uh, products. I, I just think this is an eyeshadow and the texture. I wish you guys could feel what it feels like. It almost, Allison, what do you think, like gel-like? Yeah. Right? It's almost it's like, you, it's so soft and gorgeous. And I'm gonna just use my finger. I love also the color, it's like a rose gold. And I'm just using my finger and just sort of like see what it does. It just creates this really beautiful kind of sheen on my eye like that. And then you can go in with a brush, if you have a brush for me, and just sort of blend it out. Just like something fluffy, like, um, yeah, like a little dome brush like this and just sort of like blend it out a little bit. But I think it's still very sophisticated. It's not too glittery. And I also want to show you guys that, you know, obviously I'm, you know, I just turned 50 this year. And I think that sometimes women are really afraid of using glitter or things like that when you get older. And I want to show you that it is totally wearable and even someone in my age can still wear glitter and I think it's really chic and sophisticated if you do it the right way so yeah so I put that on and then I even want to show you guys because I do love glitter I just think it's so pretty like to wear a little glitter for like a really festive kind of event and I love these new glitters by Glossier I think they have some sort of like gel in between so they make it really easy to apply you again can use your finger and you could put it all over but it comes with a really awesome brush also by Glossier I think the tip is like silicone so it picks up the, the product really well and um, it looks like that nothing falls and I think what you could do what would look really kind of chic if you just add a little bit of that sort of like on the line even you could just do it on the outer corner if you feel like and if you see it just creates a little bit of an interest to to your eye makeup and every time I wear this out I'm actually gonna bring it in a little bit more now every time I wear something like that like people stop me at night and they're like what's on your eye and it's such a great I feel like a conversation piece you know like your makeup they're like oh it's glitter and then I don't know I just think it's a really fun flirty kind of element to your nighttime makeup and it doesn't have to be glitter everywhere like I said like I just added like a touch on my on my line so I just curled my lashes and I'm gonna just put a, like a light coat of mascara on because I'm also gonna use a um, corner lash and this glossier one I love this mascara it's really light so if you like a really thick mascara this might not be for you but I love it it gives also a really nice curl to your lashes i also love this mascara for the lower lashes because it's really like you can get really right in there and again it's not too thick that's what i like so i think to like you know you don't have to wear lashes with this look like i think this looks really beautiful just by itself but if you want to go out and i'm going out tonight i'm going to a really nice party i want to wear lashes um i really like these lashes that were just sent to me recently they're by sweet and it's a collaboration with by terry 
they're gorgeous these lashes and they make a corner lash which is like a half lash super easy to apply and i'm going to show you really quickly how i'm doing this i use a tweezer and it actually really helps if you have a hand mirror and i actually like to look more down and i just sort of like place them and then i look up and i take my tweezer and i tuck the lashes in the corner so just bring it over a little bit and i tuck the inner corners and tuck again it's so easy to put them on just have to wait a little bit and just like kind of move them around or even use your finger and that's it so my eye makeup is done and uh, now i'm going to just go in with my concealer which is the nars radiant concealer and i'm just cleaning up underneath my eyes i don't like too much concealer again because i feel like in my age sometimes it can again age me and i don't like when there's too much because i feel like you can see the wrinkles more so i just kind of like do it like right in here where i'm the darkest oh that was the door sorry guys and then i'm gonna just go in with my beauty blender and or with your finger you can go like that too to warm up the product and conceal it like that i'm gonna powder underneath my eyes a little bit after concealing again just a touch because i feel like if i put too much powder it can look it can look older which i don't want to i just want to keep it like really when you put a concealer on you want to put some powder over it so it doesn't crease but really lightly and i'm using a loose laura mercier powder put a little bit in my t-zone and then i'm going to go right in with my contour and like there's a hair somewhere that's it i go in with my contour and the one i really like is the fenty one it looks like that and this is really fun because i feel like it's really kind of foolproof to use it um i always like to start and i don't like a big contour i just want to like bring up my cheekbones more so i start sort of like in the hollows of my cheeks i go like right down there and i also put a little bit of it in the temple same on this side and then a little bit in my temple like that and then you can even put a little bit in your jawline and now I look crazy but I'm promising you it's gonna be blended really well so I take my beauty blender and sort of just like dab it in same here and I love how this blends. It blends so smooth and I love the color. It's, you know, some of these contour sticks can be really kind of orange, but I feel like it just really blends beautifully into the skin. And I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it just does something. So it doesn't look like a crazy contour, but it just gives me a little bit of a chisel and that's, that's all I really wanted. So on top of this um, contour, I used this Charlotte Tilbury. This is a bronzer, it looks really light. So the first time I used this, I was, or the first time I opened this, I was like, oh, this might be too light, but then I used it on myself. And I just really love what this does. And it just, it's not a crazy bronzer, but it just gives me a little bit of color and it's all I really want, especially because there's so much going on in my eye makeup. There's glitter and, you know, I have some sort of like burgundy on my colors. I don't, I just want it to be very co cohesive. And I want the colors to sort of like blend into my skin. And since we used a contour and the contour is cream, I feel like this sort of like, just like, you know, marries everything together. And I feel like the color combination is perfect. So I use that and then on top of it, I actually come back with a cream product and uh, I just, this is like a blush, but again, the color, I feel like fits really well with what's going on on my face right now. So I just go in with my finger and dab a little bit of that cream blush by Stila, just a touch. And what the cream does is it just sort of like creates a different texture to my skin. 
All right, so for final touches, I chose a red lipstick. This is a Kat Von D product. Now, I think this makeup, you can do any kind of lip. You could do a nude lip, which would be really beautiful, but I am going out tonight and I have a big party and I thought, you know, a red with my whole outfit and everything would just sort of like elevate again this kind of makeup. So I go in with my, it has a spongy applicator and I go directly with the spongy applicator on my lip and I sort of apply it like that. And then you can go in with a brush, a lip brush, which I have right here, and perfect it. I like a pointy lip brush. So this is sort of like the base, but you still need to perfect them. And in order to perfect a red lip, you always need a lip liner. I just chose this MAC one here. I think it's called Brick, right, Allison? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then you just go in and I like to not overdraw, but I like to just make it a little bit more round on the top. And then you can go in with a concealer. This is another trick I like to do is I like to do like, it's called a reverse lip line and you use a brush and put some concealer on it and then you can perfect it that way. So if you have any mistakes, So I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I am ready to go out and have a glass of wine, but I really wanna know what you guys think about this sort of setup. I wanna just bring you guys more into my life, into my space, and if you have any ideas what you would like to see next, just drop me some comments below. And if you wanna see another video of mine, then just click right here, and I'll see you next time.